Hello, it's 10 o'clock. Um, this is your magnificent life live call and it's um, Saturday so we're here if you're here please let me know and again we're talking about how to create our magnificent life how to create the life we really wish we could have that we crave sometimes we don't even dare say this is the life we want but you're allowed to, to dream of it and want it and start working towards creating it and what if we don't even get the hundred percent what if we get 80 what if we get 70 what if we get 50 we're at least better off than where we are right now. But I promise you, as you take these steps, you will improve your life and you can create your magnificent life. You need to see it from inside and start working towards it, taking the steps we've been talking about. We started out with our wheel of life. Then we went on to take one area of the wheel of life. We've taken our physical fitness, which was we wanted to exercise. And then we start working on that. And we've been tapping about the resistance tapping about you can't make me do it tapping about this stuff that's stopping us from going where we want to go we've also journaled a bit about um, what's the upside or what's the downside of not doing or doing what we we, we say we want to do today I'm going to continue that but I'm going to just check for a minute if you're here and if you have any questions please let me know and where are you like where are you at what have you done with your wheel of life what have you done with your three this is the fifth sixth week where are you with taking care of your body and sticking to the plan you chose remember nobody did this to you for you nobody dictated this on you you've de so as i just said you've decided on what you want to do and i know we all are human and sometimes we rebel against even what we say we want to do so today i wanted to tap about a lot of people feel that they can't complete things they promise themselves, they start things, whatever it is, they start an exercise program, they take a course in something, they go pay for coaching in something, and they start and they don't complete. And it, it drives you crazy and actually it makes a lot of problems in, in neurologically because um, you, your mind starts creating all these neural pathways that are of incomplete. So you start getting used to that. So it is a problem. It is a problem to be in that place. So anyway, um, I'm going to start doing this tapping because I know if you're not doing what, what you've said you want to do, and we're just the beginning of the journey, so there's some kind of rebellion, there's some kind of resistance, which we've, I've given the tapping about. And today I want to tap about I can't complete because this will help you also get to completion, which is an issue with a lot of people. So first of all, you're going to rate it. So you're going to take a deep breath and you go... How true is it that you don't complete? Like, is it a zero? Zero, you complete. Uh, Ten, it's 100% true. I hardly ever complete anything I start. And that's really bothering me. And how much is it bothering you? So now we're going to rate how much is it bothering you. So is it a seven? Is it an eight? Is it a nine? Is it a five? Anything above a five, above a five is a, a, a negative vibration. And you know what? You'll be attracting more of that of just the way the laws of the, of the universe work or what we call the law of attraction. So if I'm really mad at myself or angry at myself or frustrated with myself because I don't complete, but all I'm thinking about is not completion, I get more of that, unfortunately. So that's why we do the tapping, to release this incompletion or incomplete or non-completion programming that I've now created in my brain. All right, so let's get to it. So even though... I don't complete things. I totally and completely accept where I am. Even though I don't complete things. I start things and I don't complete things. I totally and completely love and seems the internet doesn't want me to complete either. So here we go again. So even though I don't complete things, I totally and completely accept where I'm at right now. Okay? And I love and accept myself. You do that three times and then we start tapping and um, let's just start saying I don't complete. I keep starting projects and I don't complete. I have so many projects I haven't completed. Oh my God. I don't know, it could be handwork, um, things I've bought that I want to complete. Just have done things. So many have done things. Piles of things that I need to complete. Piles of things I need to get done. And I just don't complete. And it's driving me crazy. And they're driving my mind crazy because I keep, I 
keep seeing them and they're making a lot of noise in my brain and they make me feel heavy. They really tire me out. And I'm also frustrated because of all the money and the time I've spent and I keep looking at them and I don't know why I do that because I get really excited and I join a program or start the reading a book or you won't believe how many books I have half read or start doing something, some kind of project, handwork or whatever and then I don't complete it. All these projects and you can start naming them like putting the photographs in order, cleaning up <coughs> the computer, I don't know, cleaning up the drawers, sorting out my, I don't know, mail, deleting things off my computer, whatever that project is. And they're just not completed. They're all half done or quarter done or a third done and it's driving me crazy. Let's take a deep breath. And just check in, is it worse? Is it the same? Is it better? And we could have triggered you and it could be worse. Like now you're really frustrated. Like, oh my God, because I talked about all the uncompleted stuff. Okay. So let me just say something here and then we're going to go on. You know what? When you start completing things, you need to. So if you like, if you have a shirt that just needs to be one, one button and you've been hanging it in your room, on your, on your you know, closet door or something for months. And every time you, you pass by it, every time you get in bed and see it, it's registering again in your mind as something to do. And it's also registering that you're procrastinating on it and it's, it's really driving your mind, your mind and body crazy. You might as well get up and get it done because it'll be done and completed. You need to start even at the smallest level to complete. Okay? So I'm going to do a tapping round now to start to start to complete. I wonder if it's possible that I can complete some stuff. Maybe not all of them. I don't want to shock your system, you know, that's too much. Maybe not even 100%, not 50%, maybe just 10%. Or oh, maybe I can handle 20%. What if I just make a list of them, take a look at them, and see where I can start? And make a game out of it. Every time I finish one, I could give myself a gift. Maybe I can go to a movie, or get a nice meal, or get something new, or, you know, take a half day off just because I did that. What if I could gift myself when I complete? What if I could even make a list and give myself stars, like a little kit? Whatever it is you can figure out. I could probably handle 50%. Why not? Why not? Okay, and I want you again to take a deep breath. Does it look a little bit better? Do you feel a little bit lighter? Like maybe I can handle, and especially that I said, not 100%. Let's not look at 100% because it may be too much. It may be years of unfinished things. You may have piles of books, piles of projects, all these things in your mind. I want to fix the sewing box and I want to do this and I want to go in the garage and clear it and I want to clear the kitchen drawers and I start everything and I don't complete. It's too much. It's overwhelming. It goes into overwhelm. Just take part of it and say, tell your mind what, whatever it can accept. If you can say, I can do 10% in the next two months, then do 10%. Let it rest and say, yeah, yeah, only 10%. And choose what you're going to do. And then reward yourself. You're going to treat yourself exactly like you treat a little girl or a little boy. Reward yourself with something nice. And actually do the reward. Like, you know, I'm going to go out dancing. I'm going to go get, I don't know what, whatever. Okay? And you can play with a lot of, like, no more books to be bought. I did that with myself at one time. No more books to be bought, no matter how exciting they look, until you start reading your books. And it worked. <laughs> it worked. So find your own way. Find your own way. Everybody <coughs> will find their own way because it is overwhelming. And the problem is for me is I now know enough about um, neuroscience and how the brain works. If we don't complete, we build up so many neural pathways of things that are incomplete. And then it becomes our habit. We've created a habit. We've created like it becomes hard to complete. It's as if the mind says, no, 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 you need to stop. It actually works like this. You need to stop. You can't complete because that's your new habit. So we need to undo this and unravel this so that we can go to the complete. And a lot of people have this issue, by the way. I don't know. It's the modern world. We all have too much on our hands. And there's too many opportunities. There's too many books. There's too many projects. Everything is available. Uh, and then, of course, our time is being... Um, fought over from so many sources like the internet, uh, the researching on uh, Google, 
Facebook, Twitter, I don't know what, Instagram. There's just so much on people. Plus parents, and all of us, now are not the same as we were in the 60s. We're, we're driving our kids everywhere. We're doing too much. We're taking care of more of our bodies. We're just too much. We have a lot on our, on our plate. So in reality, we can easily go into incompletion. But because of what it does to the body, it actually is a heaviness on the body. And what it does to our mind and frustrates us, we need to work on it. And in creating our magnificent life, I found we need to tap on that. Because if you haven't been doing what you said you'd like to do, it might be that you don't complete. Like you said, I'm going to start an exercise program. You did it maybe a week or two, and then you, you don't. So now we're going into incomplete. And that's why we did that. Now I'm going to do one last round, and you can go through this video several times, maybe daily. There were things I did, like I would say, I'm going to do this for 30 days every single day. I would just tap every day the same topic, the same subject, the same, until it broke. So then I would do the last one and say, like, I choose to complete. I choose to start to complete. I'm creating neural pathways of completion. I choose to complete everything I start or totally drop it. Maybe I don't want it ever, so just totally drop it. I'm going to make a clear decision. If I really want it, then I'm going to complete it. I choose to complete. I choose to complete what I start. I choose to enjoy and complete and celebrate what I start. Okay, I also want to add something here. First of all, this is the choices, and the choices is really good for brain. So we went from not wanting to, to maybe I can do 50%, 40%, 30%, whatever, and then I choose. If there's, you know what, with clarity, take a look at all those incomplete. Maybe some of them you don't want to ever do. Maybe that book was never that interesting. Give it away. Please get it out of your house. Because every time your eye sees it, it's incomplete, it's driving you crazy, it's reminding you you bought it and you never read it, etc., etc. You need to, like, let's say you bought a handwork, you bought a kit for, I don't know, carpentry, if you, you know, whatever you have, and you're not completing. Some of them you can totally get out, and maybe you have make a decision, I don't want to do it. I never want to do it. Then don't. Just don't. Don't, don't keep saying I want to do it. You don't want to do it, don't do it. That's one way. There's a lot to talk about in completion and procrastination, overwhelm. Those are three issues that are pretty uh, burdens on humanity now. But for today, this is what we're doing because we are building our way towards a magnificent life. And this is a big bulk weighing a lot of people down. So I look forward to your questions. Please send me your questions, your comments. Please share these videos. I also upload these on YouTube. So if you miss them on Facebook, they will be on YouTube maybe within a week. And um, you can share them there too easily. Thank you. Hi, Amal. Nice to see you here. I don't know who else is here, but 